Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and this time it's not going to be something about anime or manga related. For this topic of this discussion, I'm going to be talking about buying former library copies of DVDs and Blu-rays that I, I want to talk about for the very first time, though. Because what made me start getting into collecting DVDs and Blu-rays as well? Well, here's the answer to that. Well, because that's particularly of how of something what you have been come across of how whenever you wanted to buy some DVDs and Blu-rays at the library as well. There's most of them were like former library copies, like older DVD ones as well. It's, you could find something as well. <sighs> Sorry. If I was a little tired, though, is that... And most of them as well, because... And there's also Blu-rays that and DVDs that are also donated to the library. Especially if you ever could find something for, like, a dollar as well. Especially whatever. Well, there are many it's obvious season sets of a certain TV show on DVD. Some of them can be priced up to like $2 for that. If you could ever want to find a TV show on DVD, like, cert like certain season sets or like a complete series set in general though, some of them can be like 2 or $3. It depends on the pricing, especially if you ever want to look for a certain TV show on DVD that was donated to the library for a good price as well. Whew, sorry. Because one thing about how you're wanting to start a collection on particularly buying like DVDs and Blu-rays as well because especially if you ever wanted to go to a library book sale when they're having a library most of them were like former library copies that some of them have, haven't been checked out, but there's also a lot, but most, but the majority of this was mostly DVDs and Blu-rays of, an, uh, not, not exactly, a, mo a certain movie and TV show or like certain cartoons that were donated to the library for like a dollar each as well. Some of them were like on season sets, like obvious ones, some of them were like two dollars a price on there as well in case you're wondering <sighs> Ooh, sorry if I was a little tired though it's just that I wanted to talk about these buying DVDs that were at a for a good price as well especially if you ever can find something at a library especially if you ever want to find something like for a dollar as well particularly of what you could ever wanted to start your journey of how you could excuse me ever starting a DVD and Blu-ray collection as well because for the most part as well I have mostly movies that I got on Blu-ray for like one dollar like the especially that was donated to the library Let's take a look, for example, like I have as well. Let's say, for example, here, like I have this copy of the Jungle Book. This is donated to the library, because last year, back in October 2022, though, this was only like $1 when I bought this at a library book sale, in case you're wondering as well. And also, most DVDs that are also for a dollar as well, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I also, take for example, like, I have this copy of Chasing Amy on DVD. This is part of the Criterion Collection, which is 75. Yeah, I think this was, this is my, and this is also my first Criterion Collection release on DVD, though. Yeah, because, well, there are many obvious, like, older DVDs, like, especially, like, that were donated to the library, Many of them you could find as well as if you want to start a DVD and Blu-ray collection. Because if you ever want to hit the, the hall as well for like, when you ever like, once you're going to start like a DVD, Blu-ray haul video, 
that's a good proper way if you ever can start a DVD Blu-ray collection as well. If we ever can come across of how you ever want to buy something as well. Especially if you could save up time and money as well. But there's most movies that there's something that you cannot find of what you're looking for. There's ones that you already own or or have upgraded to Blu-ray. But if there's ones that you haven't owned or haven't gotten a Blu-ray release, then you could, if like especially if they are donated to the library, you could buy them for like a dollar as well, particularly on, for the most part as well, is that this all has got to me of how I'm getting into the thing of how I've been buying DVDs as well as Blu-rays. Like, you know, like there's mostly older DVDs, like especially if you could find at the library that were donated, even though it's available, though. Excuse me. For the majority of this as well, because I've been literally buying older DVDs, and most of those that I don't have on Blu-ray, especially that I haven't started a collection, though, as well. Because I have been relentlessly gotten to have a feeling of how buying DVDs that were donated to the library, and also probably some Blu-ray, too, you never know if they are former library copies or if they're donated to the library. That's the real question, because particularly of what I can come across for this. And the real question is, is that, the, is there like TV shows on DVD, like season sets that are like $2 that were, that you found at a library that were, especially that was donated, where they slapped it with a $2 pricing though, if you ever like saving up some money though, even though if you ever haven't thought of it, just considering how most libraries on there, well, most other DVDs, like $3 from other different type of libraries, but the ones I get mostly, or mainly ones for like $1 each. And this particularly of what you ever thought of ever collecting DVDs and Blu-rays as you ever can find something at your local library, like, especially the, the the ones that were donated to the library, like, if you can get them for, like, a good deal on a price on there. Yeah, unlike most of them in general, this has ever got, much like DVDs and Blu-rays, especially, like, older DVDs at the library book sale, that you could buy them for, like, a price, a good de amount of price on there. Usually to the point out of how you could ever want to come across of you wanted to realize of how I'm giving them much capable of you ever wanted to buy some DVDs and Blu-rays at a um, probably your local library. Either if it's the ones that were former library copies that they were never checked out, or you could buy like older DVDs of the of your like a certain movie, TV show, or like certain cartoons, like that were donated to the library. Then that's particularly a, a good pr amount of price. If you could buy them for like only like a dollar each, though. Like if you buy two of those DVDs for under one dollar each, then you could spend approximately about two dollars. Like if you ever thought of doing one as for what I could realize for the fact as well because and that's particularly of what I could come across of how I wanted to realize in case you're wondering of what I could realizing what I remember though as well because I have been know for the fact of this one of the most realizing though is that if you're ever knowing of how you ever continuing to have the whole stigma of collecting DVDs and Blu-rays, like the ones that are either former library copies that no one checked out, or you could get the ones that were donated to the library, and m be aware of this. As long as you wanted to get that you don't have, then 
or if there's the ones that you already have or up, have been upgraded to Blu-rays, you might as well pass on that accordingly. And I believe this has the whole stigma of you ever wanting to buy something at your local library and then ever that you ever considering that knowing of how this continues for your DVD and Blu-ray collecting stigma of how this ever has been gotten to the thing for the point or starts as well. I mean, particularly it, as long if you don't have any money though, if you, if you left it at home, especially if you want to collect DVDs and Blu-rays, you could also you would have been also been stranded though if, if there's something that you don't. Then, there's something that you don't find what you're looking for. You could also have this your little stigma could be stranded or something. Once you go, once you came back to the library, at this point out as well. And then for the most reason is that, for the most part, is how you ever been like collecting DVDs and Blu-rays, like that you wanted to buy something at the lo your local library. It's like either the ones if they're at a book sale or the ones that were donated to the library in like the little library book sale corner area especially like the ones that were right where the door where you donate your unwanted DVDs like you don't you already don't need once you like once you upgrade your favorite movie TV show on either Blu-ray or 4K Ultra as well. Because, and then afterwards, this particularly of how has the little stigma of how. And also, same goes to ones that are, have been getting into our streaming services like, you know, like take specific ones like Tubi or Netflix or HBO Max as well. Particularly, like, like if they donated DVDs or Blu-rays that they don't need, or if they're or if they're unwanted, like especially the ones that you have never watched. Once you ever, or er, once you donating unwanted DVDs or Blu-rays at your local library as well. And one of the most reasonable things is that knowing is that you having your own self-confidence of how you ever been collecting DVDs or Blu-rays on like certain movies or TV shows or like certain cartoons on either DVD or Blu-ray like especially if you ever been if you're going ever been going to a, um, a library book sale which is a lot more different than swap meets flea markets yard sales garage sales all that kind of stuff though for is that knowing of how you ever been realizing of having the whole little st stigma of collecting DVDs and Blu-rays that were donated from the library once you say once you have your money as well like I'm not gonna lie though because this particularly of how it's just sit, if you're ever been sitting on money though, because them DVDs at that were donated to the library, as well as Blu-rays, are worth like only like a dollar each as well. If if I could remember though, because having own little stigmas of how you got the whole thing of whatever been wanted to come by for collecting DVDs and Blu-rays. But then again, most of them that you could find them, if they have a whole lot of DVDs or Blu-rays at your local library book sale, because this particularly of how this have, has come across, of how I have been literally been collecting something. Well, I think I did got my first DVD Blu-ray combo that was donated to the library book when I, when I found it at a library book sale, let's take an, an outside, for example, like I have in my collection, or if I'm 
I still must say is that I have one, D which was my first Blu-ray upgrade as well because of how I wanted to. Whoa, sorry about that. I almost that. Anyways, particularly, you ever wanted to, like, buy something that was only, like, a dollar... Let's take a note, for example, like I have this copy of The Last Unicorn. This is the Enchanted Edition from Shout Factory. This was particularly my first proper Blu-ray upgrade when I got this at a library book sale back in January 2017, which I remembered it. And I think this is basically my first introduction to upgrading to Blu-ray as well, because this is actually my first Shout Factory release title, though. Well, there are many obvious ones of how you've been collecting something as well. Of how I wanted to come across of collecting something which has worth something, which is a lot more worth it. For the most part, that's how I still must say for that is that this particularly, by all that means, is that you have the whole thing of buying something at your local library book sale for how you could find a, either a DVD or Blu-ray as well because is that you're knowing of how you wanted to buy something of what it, something you don't even have must be added to your as well but if you have a lot of money you save and you buy and also, like, especially like the five dollars per bag, if you once you get all the items, as if you want as well, they give you these light these grocery bags. Once you buy a lot of DVD and Blu-ray materials at your library book sale, that's particularly how you might have hit the jackpot for a DVD Blu-ray haul video, which is the perfect way to start your DVD and Blu-ray collection because of how it gives you the whole point outs as well. Well, there are many as obvious ones as well because there's a whole lot of things of how you've been collecting DVDs and Blu-rays, like the ones that you can find at your local library book sale when they're having a library book sale at the library as well. Because there's been the ranges on here. This has ranges from former library copies of DVDs to Blu-ray as well. And DVDs and Blu-rays that were also donated to the library. That you can get them for like a good $1 price as well. Because, yeah, it's not bad because... Yeah, it's cheaper to get them as opposed to, like, getting them at either Target, Walmart, Amazon, or Lion eBay, or at the occasional thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, or even at a yard sale. If you ever wanted to look for something, if you really wanted to get. Sometimes there is something that you don't find of what you're looking for, hasn't it? Yeah, because that's particularly of how I'm giving in this, the points of how I'm giving in my way of collecting something. If you ever wanted to buy something at, that you wanted to go to, whenever you go to the library when they're having a book sale, or if you can go to uh, something if you ever wanted to look for something to buy, like there is a DVD or a blue or a certain Blu-ray of how you wanted to like get them for like a dollar each though if you buy three of them then you could spend like three dollars or if you can buy four of them you could spend about four dollars or five dollars if you only buy five of them there if you can buy some DVD he's as for like ten dollars if you have like one dollar each though or if you made something out of your change such as di quarters, dimes, or nickels. Yeah, this everything gets your heart desires of how you can buy something. If you're in a whole tight budgeting of how 
you wanted to buy some DVDs or Blu-rays as well, especially that were donated to the library for like a good price amount of money though, as how you wanted to order to start your DVD and Blu-ray collection because this is how I have a feeling of I wanted to start my DVD Blu-ray collection because despite that I have been realized for the fact is that I have that's just plain and simple because I just wanted to figure out a way of how I have been starting a DVD and Blu-ray collection how it's a lot more different than any other ones out there well, it's not the first ones where you could buy DVDs and Blu-rays and any outlets of its kind. But I think about most great is that you're buying DVDs and Blu-rays at a library book sale. Whether it's a former library copy or if it's donated to the library. on Whether it's on a DVD or Blu-ray, then you can buy them for like... Only one dollar each, though, as well, because if you buy a lot of those and you have twenty dollars with you, that could help you start a lot of your DVD and Blu ray haul video. Oh, in order to start your DVD and Blu ray collection, I mean, it just had to be gone very cheerful of you wanted to buy something if you have if you save up some probably about 100 maybe 200 or 300 or maybe 1000 dollars or more though it's pr pretty much worth it as well right excuse me because there is a certain way, because I have been going to the library book sale when I buy some DVDs and Blu-rays. Oh, that, that reminds me, though. I have been buying DVDs, though, because I just... There's not only DVDs, but there's also some Blu-rays that I have been wanting to get something I have which is a no proper way to upgrade because well most some of them I have been upgraded to blu-rays as a n better edition though because despite that blu-rays are presented in 180p high definition quality however the DVD is pre only presented it in 7 to 720p quality though as if I'm if I'm wondering though However, the, the Blu-ray has much more good, better quality and high definition presented it in 180p, though. If you ever wanted to buy something which has a good, proper, high definition quality as well. Particularly if... I'm wondering if there are some 4K Ultras that you could find at a library book sale for like a dollar each. If you could imagine, though, if it's either 4... If there were, if only if they were donated to the library, as well. If you can buy them for like one dollar each, though, as well. We can only imagine though for this, because, but, but the majority was m m mostly DVDs and Blu-rays. However, there's mostly other older DVDs that you can find at a library. You could buy them for like a dollar each, though, especially that were donated to the library especially if you ever wanted to buy something because that's just going to help you start your DVD and Blu-ray collection because it, it, it has all re especially from home video distributors like every one of them out there on the market as well because this is how you get to the reason of how I have the whole thing of how I've been collecting DVDs and Blu-rays of how I wonder that's how and why you wanted to buy DVDs and Blu-rays at a library book sale like especially the ones if they are former library copies or if they are donated to the library that you can find them for like a dollar each though 
and it could be all at once though because I just wanted to know for the fact of what I could realize you wanted to buy something that must be added to your collection because I just have a there's a good reason of how you, something you might add to your collection as well because it is a good thing to remember and think about it. I just wanted to know for this which hell has come around and I believe it was how I wanted to realize of what I remember of how you wanted to have the whole thing of collecting DVDs and Blu-rays like the ones that were donated to the library that you could have ever been started your DVD like once you buy them for like a dollar each though that could help you start your in order to start a DVD and Blu-ray collection though because I know a lot has been buying DVDs and Blu-rays because there's a lot of them on the market though as well because this is how I wanted to come across of what I could realize if you ever wanted to starting to buy DVDs and Blu-rays like once you go to a library book sale as well especially when the library is starting a book sale every event of every month as what I could remember and I believe this hell has gotten to this as what I could realize for how I wanted to come around of what I could come by on collecting DVDs and Blu-rays on each title of what I r remember is what I could come by on collecting DVDs and Blu-rays. Maybe of how I could remember of all these things of though. Of how once if you tune into like buying DVDs and Blu-rays, like if like especially like if you see ones that were donated to the library and they were like on sale for like only a dollar, then you could probably buy them as well. Maybe this could be of all of this as well, which I remember for all that. Yeah, because I just, you know, come, come to think of it, because I just wanted to realize of well. Well, technically is that I have been wanting to n know for this as how I wanted to been coming across of how I wanted to collect DVDs and Blu-rays as well. Because that's pretty much what I could remember for all this as well. So that's going to be it for my discussion video for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm saying for this one. Well, because I have been doing videos about where I talk about DVDs and Blu-ray collecting, though. This is my brand new discussion video where I was going to talk about buying DVDs and Blu-rays at a library book sale in order to start a DVD and Blu-ray collection. Because this is a new video which is definitely going to take the cake because this is how I wanted to do something that is very new at this point though. Hope subscribe for more content. Be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Be sure to be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. If you've ever been watching the channel, I'm also started getting into the DVD and Blu-ray shopping haul video, everything from like f flea markets and in thrift stores as well and also be sure to smack the like button if you enjoyed the video smack the notifications bell button be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates on here if you like as well let me know your thoughts in the comments by leaving it in the comments section below on this video if you like as well and also be sure to check out my anime planet or analyst at your leisure at this point and that's all I have what I got for today wow this is a new video that I haven't done like this because I have some ideas that's why this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. And be sure to stay safe and stay healthy and help you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos. Take care.